Hey guys, welcome back to Fiction Friday, and I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. So with Christmas this weekend, I thought it'd be a really great idea to do a Christmas-themed book. And while in Barnes & Nobles, I came across The Dogs of Christmas by W. Bruce Cameron. His name is connected with the, with the book and now movie, A Dog's Purpose, and the hit television show, Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter. And so I found this book and I thought, why not? It's going to be Christmas. It's a Christmas-themed book. Let's have at it. And so this book follows Josh Michaels, who is a computer software engineer from Colorado and his life is crap. His girlfriend left him for another man. His family separated around the world and he's living in his family home that he grew up in alone and depressed. And so one day he gets a call from a buddy he met in a bar, not even a buddy, he's just a guy he met in the bar, saying, listen, my brother's in France, he got locked up, my ex dropped his dog on me, take it. And he was pretty pissed about, you know, this guy dropping this dog off on him and abandoning it, abandoning it. So he takes it and this dog is pregnant. So eventually he, while he's on a conference call, this dog goes into labor and he rushes it to the vet and now he has a litter of five puppies. So while this whole book follows Josh trying to raise these puppies and learning how to be a father to dogs. But of course he needs a little help because he has now six dogs in his care, which he's never had before. So he calls up the local animal shelter and meets Carrie who is more than thrilled to help him. She finds a way to both connect this to giving people their dogs and you know, not only helping them find forever homes, but for helping Josh learn how to be a father to dogs. And he's thrilled to do it. You know, she's thrilled to do it. She comes over to see these puppies and really understand the situation. And Josh like falls in love with her. It's like a Hallmark Christmas movie where he's like, oh my God, she's gorgeous. I want to, you know, I want to get to know her more. And he's really awkward throughout the book. You see his awkwardness. And so him and Carrie work together throughout the book to both raise these puppies and get them ready for adoption, which I'm not going to give away the book. But I mean, when you have six puppies, how, you know, it's a little hard to just give up six puppies or five puppies and, you know, the adult dog. But you know, that's, that's pretty much how the book follows and just them going through, you know, trying to, you know, start a relationship and raise these dogs. And there are just so many cute little themes throughout it. Like, you know, family, There's, family is a big part of this book because you see the family of the dogs and, you know, abandonment is a big theme in this because not only was Josh abandoned from his family, even though he was 17 when his family left, his family was still pulled apart. And that's something that he struggles with, you know, with the idea of adoptions, like, well, you're just going to separate the family. So he has a big problem with that. And I think that's a really powerful message. And then the whole term of family, it's like he wants to keep the family together. He wants to kind of regroup his family, but he knows his dad is gone. He's not coming back. His mom is gone. He wants to kind of reconnect with his sister, but it's just hard because she lives in Oregon and she will not budge from moving. So he has his own little family of now dog. He's like, listen, my ex-girlfriend left me family left me but now I have these dogs you're my family so he kind of builds that family with the dogs and I think that's a really another really cute idea a really cute theme and really cute message going forward throughout this book and you know there's other deeper themes I guess you can kind of interpret in a way like there's there's more to the story in a way you could say that because Josh has his own story that he doesn't really like to share you get to experience that from the through the reader's perspective but you don't get that from you know Josh talking to Carrie or you get a little bit of Carrie's backstory but you don't get much of the you know interpersonal connections it's just like she has her own reasons why she is the way she is and Josh has his ways and his ex has her ways so there's always that deeper story and especially with the dogs there's a deeper story with Lucy uh the the mother dog you know, finding out these little details about each character and intricately, even though it's a short book to just make each character and each scene so dynamic with that, I think it's powerful. And I love the way parenthood is kind of touched on, especially with, you know, Josh learning to take care of these puppies and, you know, Lucy, the mother kind of, even though, you know, this is her, probably her first litter, you know, how she's being as a mother and Josh kind of freaking out the way, you know, Lucy's treating the puppies or what's going on. And I just think that's really cute and, you know, Josh struggling with uh, maybe possibly giving them up for adoption. Now, most of this is in the synopsis, so I'm not giving too much away. I know it probably feels like I have been, but I'm not, I promise. So it's just, you know, struggle is a little bit in there, especially at the beginning of the book when Josh struggling with, 
his his breakup you know being depressed he's struggling with that and then he struggles with his family throughout the book you see him wanting to you know like i said bring his family back in but he's struggling with his family he's struggling with carrie to a bit because you know she wants to adopt these puppies and he's grown so attached as anyone would i know i definitely would i wouldn't be able to give up six puppies but or five puppies and a, a grown dog i wouldn't be able to give up anything but you know i, I think you know that's that struggle is another main theme throughout the book um, I know I normally talk a lot about scenery. There isn't much scenery. I mean, you get a lot of snow scenes where it talks about the weather, but you really don't get that heavy. Like this is what the environment looked like. And I think that's a great tool to use, not really delve into the, the weather or delve into the, into the scenery because it takes away from what the book is actually supposed to be about. Like, you know, some of my previous ones, I talked about how scenery was so rich where it felt like you were in the scene. This was more emotional. This book touched me more emotionally. So yes, you may cry. <laughs> I didn't, but uh, it was. it's definitely a very cute book. The Dogs of Christmas by W. Bruce Cameron. I'm definitely going to pick up some of his other books. Now, what, what rating do I give this book? This is definitely now one of my favorite novels. I give it five stars for its little interconnecting themes. You know, the, 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 the struggles, the you know, the family, the parenthood. I love all those little themes that he adds in throughout the book. And even if they're unintentional, which sometimes authors will have an unintentional theme, I think having that, you know, those little themes and the interpersonal relationships between Josh and Carrie and then Josh and some of the other people who run into his dogs, you know, they see them while he's driving around because he takes them out to the store and he's like, oh my God, they're adorable. You know, that, that kind of whole, when you see cute puppies, you have to stop and uh, coo over the puppies. I think that's adorable, <laughs> but you know, I love that, that, you know, his relationship with the dogs. I love that as well. So definitely five stars for the dogs of Christmas by W Bruce Cameron, pick it up anywhere that, you know, Christmas books are really sold. His books, I guess are pretty popular, especially with the new movie, a dog's purpose coming out, which I don't know if I'll see that. It looks like I'm going to cry, <laughs> but, um, you'll definitely see that probably if I, if I go see it, it'll be on my blog about it. So, you know, Hope you guys picked this up and I hope you guys enjoy this book. And again, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Oh, I think I ripped the fucking hat. Okay.